keep the word in your life. You have to take a decision that I will obey the word. When you take these two decisions in your life, your life will be changing. You are new. Ah, praise the Lord, sister. Welcome. So, uh, I have seen your photo. So, uh, you have to take a decision. How many of you are reading Bible regularly? You have to read Bible regularly. Not just reading, but uh, as a medicine. We cannot avoid medicine when we are sick. Likewise, we, we need the word to get deliverance. There is a word, Ephesians 6.17. You can take in your Bible. Then I will be giving word to everyone as a spirit leads also. Praise the Lord. Ephesians 6.17. If you have got, you can read the book of Ephesians. Is, uh, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So, you should be saved for a breakthrough, for a deliverance, for a healing, for a blessing. To get all the blessings in the Bible, this is the word. What is he saying? Take the helmet of salvation. You know, a helmet means protection from all the uh, devil's activity. So, take the helmet of salvation. So, you should be saved. Saved in Christ. You should have someone to lead you. Before you were living without anyone's guidance. But now you have somebody to guide you. Who is there to guide you? It is Jesus. Before there was no one to guide you. But when you have saved, that is after taking the helmet of salvation, someone new, new person is guiding you. You cannot live as you desire. Salvation means living a life according to what it is said in the Bible. That is, take the helmet of salvation. That is saying, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. What is the meaning of sword? You know, weapon. What is the sword of the spirit? Spirit means Holy Spirit. That is the word of, that is saying, sword of the, take the helmet of uh, salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So, three things you, have, you should have to get blessed. One is, you have to take the helmet of salvation. The other is, you should have the Holy Spirit. We have a spirit, but when we are saved, God will give the spirit to you. When you read, read the book of John chapter 14, you can see, when you repent, when you take baptism in the name of Jesus, God will... Ask the Father to give His Spirit to you. So, that is the Spirit. The Spirit needs a word. That is the sword of the Spirit. What is the sword? Without weapon you cannot fight. So, the Holy Spirit needs a sword. That is the word of God. When these three things you have in your life, your life will be blessed. I think you have understood. Otherwise, uh, some people uh, does not like to go deep into the Bible. They want only a healing. They want only some blessing. So, you know, many Gentiles come from outside. They, they, they don't, they, when I preach the gospel, they say, we, we are not interested. When I speak about the eternity, they say, we want a blessing only in this world. So, they don't have the patience to listen to the gospel. But this is, salvation is for those whose names are written in the book of heaven. How many of you are sure that your name is written in the book of heaven? So, that is, if your name is written in the book of heaven, that means you are saved. You are Indians. How do you know that you are Indian? We are the citizen. That is the guarantee. 
even when you go to other country even when you go to can sit even when you go to other country you are the citizen of india even when you live here we are the citizen of heaven because our name is written in the book of heaven everyone whose name is written in the book of heaven is the citizen of heaven so those people know that we are saved those who does not know that their name is written in the book of heaven they do not know whether they are saved how many of you understand yes. so this is the gar if you are saved surely you will get blessed you will not laid up when you become old what is the guarantee that you will not be bedridden some people are fearing when i become old what will happen who will take care of my children are away some people are fearing why are you understanding yes. when people are young they won't believe in god when they are young they will enjoy the worldly life even my relatives they they did not accept me my prayer life but when they are becoming older and older they are talking to me they are asking me many things about the bible yeah is it come here so how many of you understand when people are young they want to enjoy the world when they are rejected when they are isolated when they are weak when they are becoming older and older they will understand that no one will help them only god is there so why people are coming to god when they become older because the body is becoming weaker any time they can fall any time they can sick than the younger people so they want someone to guide them they want somebody's help so that is god how many of you know that you will not be bedridden what is the guarantee there is a word isaiah 64 you can read 46 4 Praise the Lord. Isaiah 46, 4. Your name? Eh? Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah, I know you. Genesis. Okay. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Eh? Eh? Yeah, you read in Canada. Uh, Isaiah 46, 4. Isaiah 46, 4. ನಾನೇ <laughs> you will not be hospitalized amen you will go to hospital to pray for someone else yes amen but you will not be hospitalized and bedridden yes you will not be like a person rejected maybe the world will reject you but there is a heavenly father to guide you amen that is what the word is saying even so this is the common prophecy to everyone you have to write in your diary and read it every day 